the Indian Prime Minister there uh, interacting with the ISRO scientists in Bengaluru. Joining us on the broadcast this minute is a very special guest, Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma, the former Indian Air Force pilot and the first and the only Indian citizen to have traveled to space. Thanks very much, sir, for speaking with us. Uh, it's an extremely emotional moment for Indians uh, across the world as uh, they witness uh, what a uh, massive achievement this has been for India's space program. Let me begin by asking you for your thoughts on uh, the race to space. It's the future, it's the destination to be. It's also the mystery around it which has attracted people uh, from across the world, uh, from surveillance to setting up of space commands as recently by the US, keeping a pulse of the weather vagaries. The possibilities are immense. Uh, and it's a race to be there. Do you think it's a rational race? <laughs> well, it, it, it all depends what you want to do, uh, what kind of activity you want to engage in. Uh, it was a race between America and Russia when the destination was the moon. That race, as you know, is over. However, we are still returning to the moon. Um, I, talk, I talk of the uh, humans are returning to the moon. And now they are returning not because uh, the moon is a destination, but it is, I would say, it's the beginning of a journey. And uh, so it's not as if there is any destination in space, because space is vast, as you know. So it's going to be a very interesting journey. Um, you made a mention of uh, space commands and uh, uh, those kind of uh, the military angle to it. Well, um, that's left to us how we utilize space. We are, of course, this time going to space, uh, not as a part of a race, or not as an ideological race, not to prove something to somebody, but uh, this time we are going to exploit you know, what space has to offer. So. If you're going there to exploit, and if you're going to continue uh, to operate on the same model as we do on Earth, then uh, I'm afraid that we are going to shift conflict out of Earth into space, uh, because uh, whoever gets there first will then try and keep the uh, assets which they find out there for themselves. And so there's once again going to be uh, a denial to the others. And uh, those who are technologically capable will be the ones who, who are going to derive benefit from it. So uh, it's a journey, like I said, not a destination. And uh, how we perform that journey and uh, what kind of model we follow, is it going to be inclusive or exclusive? That is going to decide. Uh, you know, whether or not uh, this is a good idea. Right. A year 1984, when you embarked on the space mission, and this is 290, 2019 now, it's been 35 years, and you remain the first and the only Indian to have traveled to space. Uh, take us through uh, the feeling that uh, grips you on the time that we have taken and also the space journey that India has made so far. And as the Prime Minister also has been saying, this is uh, just a part of the larger space program and the best is yet to come. Well, I would say that it's uh, uh, better late than never. Of course, 35 years is a long time. And for myself personally, uh, I would have uh, liked it to have been much, much earlier, maybe maybe uh, uh, immediately after that, because then I could have remained as a career astronaut or as a career cosmonaut, but that didn't happen. So I went back to my old job. Uh, it's taken 35 years, yes, and uh, I think uh, the Gaganyan, Gaganauts who will be going in 2022 are going to be much luckier because they're going to continue with this particular career which, which they have been selected for. So uh, if you want to know as to why it has taken us this long, well, it is because uh, 
ISRO was uh, more focused on applications technology, on satellites, which they have done very well, as you know. So that is why it has, it's been 35 years. Yes, it's been a long time. But now uh, that we are getting ready to get back into space, I'm referring to the human space program. Um, some exciting times await us professionally as well as uh, personally. I would, I would love to be with that crowd once again. Exciting times ahead, absolutely. Now, Indian astronauts, sir, will be sent to space by the year 2022 as part of India's uh, Gaganyaan project, another very ambitious uh, program. India's first manned space mission crew will be trained in Russia, as we know. Your message or tips that you would want to share with the Indian aspirants for that venture to be undertaken, uh, since you are the uh, first and the only Indian to have traveled to space? Well, I'd like to tell them that they are uh, very lucky from uh, professionals from the Indian Air Force. Uh, as you well know by now that um, their selection has been made from amongst test pilots. So it's a natural extension of uh, their work. They are going to be proving a new system wherein uh, a human is a part of the, part of the loop. So uh, there's some interesting work lying ahead of them. So I would uh, ask them to, to enjoy the ride, not to forget those aspects. In fact, I would say that the visuals are so distracting that it's a bit of a job to remain focused on the work aspect. But knowing the kind of professionals who are part of the Indian Air Force, I'm quite certain that whatever is given to them will be executed brilliantly by them.